Hi everyone, welcome to another enlightening episode of Wellness Talks with Nirva. I'm your host Natasha Singh and today we are going to discuss about something very interesting. Does our gut health determine our mood? Is our gut health in charge of our behavior? Does being cool-headed or hot-tempered actually directly influenced by our gut? Is our gut health related to more serious problems like ADHD and Alzheimer's? Stay tuned in to know all the answers to these questions because the more you'd understand about your gut health, the better you'd be able to nourish and nurture your emotional health. And I'm so excited because today we have Dr. Shehnaz with us, who's not only an expert in this field, but also a senior consultant with Nirva and a seasoned Smriti meditation expert. So thank you so much, Doctor, for being here with us today. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Natasha. There is a lot to talk about gut health and our mental health. I'm waiting for your questions. Absolutely. So let's just jump right away. Tell me, how do these tiny little organisms in our digestive system, you know, they are able to govern and regulate our moods, our emotions, our overall behavior and our mental health? I mean, how do they control it, uh, like controlling our brain from our tummy? How do they do that? Yeah, it's a fascinating interplay, really, like the gut-brain axis makes it possible. So it is a bi-directional communication network that links our gut with our brain. So think of it as a special phone line between the two. So the tiny organisms in our gut, it is often referred to as gut microbiota. They help in breaking down the food that we consume, providing us with essential nutrients and energy. But their role doesn't stop there. Like these microbes produce various substances that can directly or indirectly influence our brain functions. That sounds interesting. So could you please share with us that what are these substances that they produce? Yeah, they produce neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that help brain cells communicate with each other. So some of these neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, these play crucial roles in regulating our moods and emotions. So gut bacteria can control how our brain uses these chemicals as well. Not just that, like these gut bacteria can produce other substances like short chain fatty acids which has like various roles from aiding our digestion to potentially helping with conditions like depression and they also influence the metabolism of tryptophan which is an amino acid that can be converted into mood regulating chemicals in our brains so in essence like our gut bacteria can indirectly influence our behavior emotions and overall mental well-being by affecting the production and functions of these crucial brain chemicals so it's like they have a remote control to our brain operating from our tummy that's commendable i mean to think of our gut as a sort of second brain like you said that has a remote control access to our emotions moods and overall behavior and mental health uh, I would in fact like, love to know that are there any specific mental health conditions that are directly related to our gut microbiota? Yes, like research has shown that patients with disorders like depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, autism spectrum disorder, these often have like significant differences in the composition of their gut microbiome compared to those without these conditions. So the state of your gut micro can influence your risk factors for depression and anxiety. For example, like studies have shown that the brain levels of serotonin, which is crucial for mood regulation, it is influenced by the amount of bacteria in our gut. So not just these gut bacteria also influence conditions like Alzheimer's, ADHD, etc. Intriguing. So uh, for all of you who are listening to this and if you know anyone who's been struggling with mental health conditions, please feel free to share this video with them. And before we move and discuss further into how can we utilize this gut bacteria to our advantage, I would love to give you a quick Nirva overview. At Nirva, we are dedicated to making you feel amazing from both inside and out. Nirva is a place where the ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets the calming practice of therapeutic yoga specifically tailored for you to help you manage chronic health conditions. So struggling with menopause health symptoms or your gut is not feeling quite right or your joints are giving you a hard time, we've got your back. At Nirva, we are a team of certified Ayurveda practitioners, yoga professionals and the most amazing health coaches that you'd ever meet. 
they are here to help you guide you support you and be there with you all throughout this holistic healing journey and then i mentioned about our communities our wonderful community you know there are so many people like you from the uk and the us all on their respective healing journey to manage their chronic health conditions with an aim to live a healthier and happier life and cherry on the top are our nirva retreat I mean imagine a serene getaway with detoxing ayurvedic therapies and personalized yoga sessions to energize each and every cell of your body and that too in Kerala God's own country so if you have been struggling with your chronic health conditions please feel free to connect with us we are here to help you out and now back to our question so doctor i'd love to know that does our uh, gut bacteria only influence our mood and behavior or is it something more also on the radar yes like there are studies that suggest that gut bacteria might play a significant role in shaping our social behavior so one such study found that the diversity and composition of the gut bacteria might be linked to how social we are so it might also play a role in our impulsivity aggression decision making processes as well So uh that leads me to my another question is reverse also possible i mean does a mental for health can also influence our gut bacteria is that possible yes natasha like as i said in the beginning it is bidirectional for example like a mother's mental health can directly influence her baby's gut health so if a mother is stressed or anxious during pregnancy it can alter the beneficial bacteria in the baby's gut so a way the baby the way the baby is delivered and whether they are like you know breastfed both these are influenced by the mother's well being and it can also affect the baby's gut bacteria so in short like a mother's mental state plays a key role in shaping her infant's gut microbiome wow i mean absolutely wow the kind of brilliance that our mental health and our gut health show it together it's intriguing to think that the bacteria in our gut can actually influence not just our overall mental health but also our decisions and our actions so i'd love to know from you that ultimately isn't it the food that we eat that has a role in uh, shaping our not just the bacteria but also our tendencies and our behavior our actions everything yeah precisely the food that we consume it plays a pivotal role in shaping the composition and the health of our gut microbiota which in turn can influence our behaviors and tendencies so like if you have felt felt grumpy after eating a specific type of food give a thumbs up in the comment section and now with you Like yes, so our diet is the primary source of nutrients, not just for us, but also for the trillions of bacteria that is residing in our gut. So Ayurveda, the ancient system of medicine, it classifies food into three categories: sattvic, rajasic, and tamasic. Each has its own distinct impact on our mind and body. Could you please break it down further for us? Like, what are these categories, and what are the foods involved in it? Sure, Natasha. Like first of all, we have sattvic foods like fresh fruits, whole grains, milk that promote clarity, calmness, and harmony. So they are believed to elevate one's mood, like promote mental stability, and are associated with positive emotions and behaviors. Now, the second category is rajasic foods that include spicy, salty, and sour foods, and it stimulates activity and restlessness. So they can make make the mind hyperactive and might be also linked to impulsivity and rapid decision making and then we have tamasic foods so this include like alcohol meat overly processed foods undercooked foods overcooked foods so which can include the feelings of lethargy dullness and inertia so they might be associated with negative emotions and behaviors so ultimately like our diet must be a balance of all these foods that's intriguing so if someone who is on this you know process to better their gut health so that 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 can directly influence their mental health what is it that you'd like to recommend yeah i would suggest a balanced diet rich in whole foods like fruits nuts legumes and whole grains and foods with natural probiotics and prebiotics they can also help and additionally like reduce using stress engaging in social interactions and avoiding like excessive use of antibiotics can also be beneficial thank you so much dr shahnaz for such an enlightening conversation it was a pleasure having you here really
Thank you, Natasha. And to the audience, remember that a healthy gut can lead to a healthy mind. Absolutely. And for everyone who joined us today and hangs out with us today, thank you so much for doing that. You know, today we learned a lot about our gut-brain axis, the role of neurotransmitters, and how the diet that we consume can actually shape not just our gut microbiota but also our mental health. We also learned about ancient Ayurvedic wisdom and the different kinds of food that have a direct impact on our body and our soul. Ultimately, it's a reminder for us that our health is holistic and everything is interconnected. So if any part of the chat today resonated with you or if you have any query, please feel free to drop us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you think that this conversation can benefit someone, please feel free to share the link with them. And remember that we are here doing this every week. So until then, please keep your gut nourished, balanced and healthy because a healthy gut leads to a healthy mental and emotional life. Thank you so much. Take care.